So this is the Bloomberg terminal where you can calculate option prices. So what we are going to do is option Greeks. So we are going to understand option Greeks, come back to this slide and see what everything means. Okay. So I'm going to open an Excel first. So Bloomberg really slows my system down. So it will take a bit of time. So we are discussing option Greeks. So these are the option Greeks that we are going to discuss Delta, then Gamma, Vega, Theta and Rho. Okay. So what is Delta? What do we understand by Delta? Delta is how the option price moves when the market moves. So when the stock moves, when the underlying moves, so how much does the option price moves? So how much option price moves when underlying moves? Okay. Delta shows the movement of option prices when there is a small movement in the underlying price. What is gamma? Gamma is adjustment you have to do for large movements. Adjustments you have to make for large movements. Small movements are shown by Delta. Right, when underlying moves by let's say $10, right? Stock moves by $10, you can calculate very well how much the option will move. But if stock moves by $100 or thousands of dollars, right? You cannot just focus on Delta. You have to make adjustments based on Gamma. So adjustments that you have to do when the movements are large in the underlying. Vega, Vega is how much the option moves how much the option price moves when the volatility changes when the volatility changes okay theta is how much option price moves when time passes as time passes not when as time passes okay so once again vega vega means how much the options would move when the volatility would move if the option if the stock becomes more volatile right so let's say volatility is 10%. If the volatility implied volatility goes to 20%, the option prices will change. And how much would they change? That is given by Vega. Theta is as the time passes, the option prices keeps on changing. Okay. That is given by Theta. And Rho is how much the option would move when interest rates change how much the option would move when interest rates change now in real life we focus on delta vega and theta gamma and rho means it's very hard to factor that in into your model so not many portfolio managers actually look at gamma and rho right interest rates if there is a big change then you have to factor that in but otherwise it's not that focused on. So let's take, let's see various different positions and what, how much would be their Delta. So let's say the first position that you take in options is you can buy a call option. 
okay so when you buy a call option delta for call options that you buy are positive it means if underlying goes up the call option also goes up okay then vega for call option buy is positive means if the stock becomes more volatile your option prices will go up then theta for call option price the call option buy is negative so when you buy call options each day that passes your option price goes down by theta amount and rho is positive and finally gamma not that material but it is positive okay so when you take a buy position in call options when you take a buy position in call options the delta would be positive that is if the underlying the stock that you are uh, buying the call option on or the index that you are buying the call option on if the index or stock moves up your call option is going to move up if it moves down your call option is going to going to move down if vega is positive so if volatility goes up your call option goes up if volatility goes down your call option goes down theta is negative each day that it passes you are going to lose some value in your option and rho is positive so interest rate change the options would change and gamma is positive we don't focus much on these two but we have to focus on these two so let's look at apple and let's see what is its delta vega theta rho and gamma so i'm going to bloomberg to see apple so let's say i'm looking at an option that expires on 31st of jan so one month from now okay and i'm looking at a, the current price is 125 i'm looking at 120 as my strike price so i'm looking at a call option that has 120 as the strike price and i am executing a buy i am going long on a call so it will calculate theta vega gamma rho so let's note down these figures and i'll explain delta is 56% for this option okay vega is vega vega is 0.24 okay and theta is negative 0.05 okay rho let's note down rows or rho is almost zero because it's not that sensitive to interest rates and gamma is 2.22 okay so how do you interpret these figures delta is 56% what does that mean if apple stock moves up $1 okay if it moves up $1 this option is going to move up 56 cents if apple moves up sorry if apple moves down $1 this one will go down by 56 cents so sensitivity of this option is 56% so if apple goes up 10 dollars you can this option will go up by 5 dollars and 60 cents right what is the option price right now it is 9 dollars so you can estimate what will be the impact on this option if apple moves up or down so that impact is 56% now this is true for smaller moves right within 1 to 2% if the apple moves it is true but you have to make certain adjustments if the moves are larger now how do you make adjustments so you make adjustments by adding gamma if the move is in upward direction and subtracting gamma so subtracting gamma when the move is in the downward direction now you do not add just gamma you add one half of 
gamma square volatility and then nd1 so that's you don't have to bother about that right means portfolio managers don't really focus on gamma but you need to know right that you have to make adjustments based on gamma if the numbers are large so delta we know vega is 0.24 what does that mean if volatility goes up by 10% right if volatility moves up 10% so this option will move 10% into 0.24 that is this option will move up 2.40 same way if volatility moves down 10% it will move down by 2.4% okay theta theta means each day that it passes your option will be going down by 0.05 so the option price is 9.46 right now so each day that you do not execute you stay in the position each day you are going to lose out 0.05 dollars okay theta is negative rho is almost zero but positive so if interest rates change this option doesn't change much so let's look at one more so let's look at tesla okay current price is 592 i am planning to exercise an option at let's say 600 and i want to exercise an option that is 31st jan so tesla has again sensitivity of 56% so this is tesla now delta is 56% so each time tesla moves up or down this option will react 56% of the movement vega of tesla is 1.16 so if vix volatility goes up 10% this option is going to go up 11.6 10% into vega 11.6 so vega is this so if volatility goes up 10% it will move up 10% times 1.16 that is 11.6% and it if volatility goes down by 10% this will move up move down 11.6% okay so tesla is much more sensitive to volatility than apple is Now, how much is theta for Tesla? Theta for Tesla is fifty cents, negative zero point five. So negative zero point five is Tesla's theta. So each day you stay in the option, your premiums are going to go down by fifty cents, right? Zero point five, fifty cents. Vega it has sorry uh, row. It has some row. It is zero point zero one. so each time the interest rate moves whatever is the move it will react 0.01 times of that and gamma for that is 1.022 so each time there is a big movement in tesla you have to make adjustments to your delta by gamma okay any questions So I'll just save this file and we'll continue. Now let's look at a position that you can take. You can buy a call or you can sell a call. Now, if you do a sell position. you have negative delta so if price moves up you lose money if price moves down you 
make money vega is negative okay so volatility goes up you lose money volatility goes down you make money theta is positive each time a day passes you pocket some premium okay rho opposite to that so negative and theta adjustment gamma adjustment you have to do for large movement so same thing so let's look at one option so i am not that bullish on intel so let's look at intel option and i am selling a call i'm selling a call and price is 51 so 52 yeah let us do that so if you sell a call delta is negative 49% so it is negative 49% so let's understand that so if intel goes up by $1 you're going to lose 0.49 dollars like cents each time intel goes up since delta if you sell options is negative you are going to lose 49 cents if intel drops by 1 dollar then you are going to make 49 cents okay you are going to make 49 cents vega is negative what is vega vega is negative 0.10 so negative 0.10 so if volatility goes up or goes down right if volatility goes up you lose 0.1 times that and if it goes down you make 0.01 0.1 0 0 times that okay theta is positive how much is theta 0.02 so each day that you stay in this option by selling the call you're going to make 2 cents each day that you stay in the option by selling the call you're going to make 2 cents rho is almost zero so we'll ignore it doesn't change much with interest rates and gamma is negative 2.25 so whenever option movement is large you have to make gamma adjustment any questions with selling the option so important point to note when you buy a option delta is positive if you move if underlying moves up you make money underlying moves down you lose money vega is positive volatility goes up you make money volatility goes down you lose money theta is negative as the day pass you keep on losing money when you sell option reverse of that delta is negative so each time the option goes up you lose money each time the option goes down you make money vega is negative so each time volatility goes up you lose money each time volatility goes down you make money and theta is positive it means that as the day progresses each day progresses you keep on pocketing premium this is extremely important to know if you are ever going to buy call or sell call in the market any questions shouldn't that be 49 point uh, 49 cents of 0.49 dollars no it is percentage delta no, no, percentage no. uh when for a 1 dollar movement yeah So that's dollars, 49 right? Forty-nine cents. Yeah, forty-nine cents. Okay, all right. Okay. Now the other side of it, we were looking at calls. Let's look at puts now. So in put, you can take different positions. So you can buy a put. so what happens when you buy a put let's look at greeks delta vega gamma theta and rho i'll push gamma down because it's not that important
okay so let's look at some company that may for neo neo is a chinese company chinese stocks are getting means there is a thing where they may get delisted from exchange right now it's not fixed yet but let's say we are buying a put on neo so price is $9 right now you we are buying a put expiry is 31st jan so things are given now if you buy a put just a second we are not selling a put we are buying a put okay so if you buy a put they are giving delta is negative 37% i'll note things down then i'll write things down okay gamma is 0.64 vega is very low actually 0.08 that's strange theta is negative 0.05 and rho is is almost zero okay so i first explain what happens when you buy a put so when you buy a put delta is always negative that is if underlying price moves up you lose money if underlying price moves down you make money vega is positive so if volatility goes up you make money if volatility goes down you lose money so this is positive theta is negative if you buy options so each day you stay into this put position you are going to lose 0.0, .0 like you are going to lose 5 cents each day gamma is adjustment that you have to make when the movements are large so this is adjustment factor and rho is interest rate sensitivity so it's zero in this case so what will happen to neo so if neo moves up by let's say one dollar you're going to lose 37 cents on it okay if neo goes down by one dollar you're going to make 37 cents on it vega so if volatility goes up by 10 percent you're going to make so 10 percent into 0 0.08 that is almost a move of 0.8 percent so if it moves up the option moves up by 0 0.08 if it moves down by 10 percent you will be negative of this one so it will your option will go down theta each day that passes you're going to lose five cents gamma the adjustment that you have to make and rho is zero so this was one so let's look at one more mm, which stock i would go short right now okay okay hbo max just announced that they are going to stream all movies right now directly to their platform rather, along with going with cineplex and imax so i may go short on cineplex because the movies are going to be directly released so cineplex sorry for that let's find it the charts okay cineplex so i'm buying a put on Cineplex, expiry date 31st Jan. So let's note things down. Delta is 40% negative. So each dollar move in Cineplex, if Cineplex goes up, I lose 40 cents. If Cineplex goes down, I make 40 cents. So now Delta is negative. Vega is 0 0.02. So 2%. So for every 1%, every 10% move. So if every time volatility goes up by some amount, your option is going to react 2% of that. Every time volatility goes down, 
your option is going to react 2% of that. It's positive. So if volatility goes up, option moves up. If volatility goes down, option moves down. What is theta? Theta is one cent. So each day that you stay in the position, theta is going, you are going to lose money by one cent. Gamma is the adjustment that you are going to make 0 0.79 and rho is interest rates. It's almost zero. Okay. So once again, when you buy a put delta is negative, Vega is positive. So each time underlying moves up, you lose money. Each time underlying moves down, you make money. Vega is positive. Volatility goes up. You make money. Volatility moves down. You lose money. Okay. Theta is negative. Gamma, you have to make adjustments. Rho, you have to make adjustments. Any questions with puts? Okay, so put sell now. So let's sell puts on Shopify. Shopify, I think, has is may go up. That's my assumption. So Shopify, okay, US based doesn't matter really. So I'm looking at whatever, but I'm going to sell puts. So if you sell put, I'll note down first what happens if you sell a put option delta is positive vega becomes negative theta is positive gamma you have to make that adjustment at the row okay so i'm selling a put option on shopify so delta is 44% it means 44.5%. So it means every time it's delta is positive. So every time it goes up $1, right? I make zero point. So let's say it goes up $10. We have done a lot of $1. So it goes up by $10. So I'll make $4.50. Okay. It goes down for $10. I'll lose $4.50 because delta is positive. Vega is negative. So volatility goes up by 10%. Volatility goes down by 10%. What is VIX? Volatility is negative 2.07. So if VIX goes up, you're going to lose money. How much money are you going to lose? 2.07 into VIX. So 2.07 into 10% and negative sign. So if VIX up, VIX moves up 10%, Shopify is going to lose 21% of its value if you are selling a put. And if it goes down, you're going to make 21% if it if you're selling a put, Vega is negative. So each time you sell a put, if VIX goes up, you lose money. If VIX goes down, you make money. Theta is positive. So how much is theta? 61 cents. So each day that passes, you're going to pocket 61 cents. Each day that passes, you're going to pocket 61 cents. Gamma is the adjustment that you have to make. It's negative 4.1.49 and Rho is interest rate sensitivity. It is 0 0.01. So if interest rate moves up, if the options will change and moves down, options will change. Okay. So this is Greeks when you sell a put. Any questions? So let's just summarize. Four positions you can take Delta. We are going to focus on Vega, Theta. Okay, these are the important Greeks. So you can buy a call. You can sell a call. 
you can buy a put and you can sell a put so delta for buying a call is positive okay vega for buying a call is positive theta is negative selling a call delta becomes negative vega becomes negative okay and theta is positive buying a put delta is negative vega is positive and theta is negative and selling a put delta is positive theta is negative sorry vega is negative and theta is also positive now a lot of people say that buying a call and let's say selling a put it same it's not same only delta is same but the reactions to vega and theta are completely different so based on your assumption so if you think that market is going to go up vega is going to go up and like you are going to do a short term trade you should actually buy call but if you think that market is going to go up but wix is going the volatility is going to fall you should probably sell a put right so buying a call and selling a put it's only same in terms of delta the movement to underline it's not same was in terms of vega and theta okay same way buying a put it's not same as selling a call buying a put means yeah when market goes down both of them benefit but you need to also factor in what's going to happen with vega if you think that volatility is going to rise you should probably buy a put if you think volatility is going to fall you should probably sell a call right and theta buying puts or buying calls is good for short term because each day you the longer you stay the more you are going to lose money selling a call and selling a put is good for long term because the more you stay in the position more money you make okay so we are going to write these assumptions down just to summarize it so my view is market going to go up and volatility going to go up i should buy a call my view market's going to go up but volatility is going to go down okay i should sell a put my view market down and volatility up buy a put and my view market down and volatility also down you should probably sell a call okay so depending on the volatility so you you generally take positions so if you are trading options lot of people do they buy calls and buy puts generally it's not a good idea to sell calls and puts because your losses can be very large so if you are looking to buy options that is buy a call and buy a put you have to focus on probability of market going up and volatility up and market going down and volatility down so when do you generally trade options so actually you have to look at volatility of specific options
but you can make an approximation looking at VIX. So VIX is volatility of the whole market. Okay, so she, there is a VIX index that gives volatility index. So this is the VIX index. So generally when volatilities are low, people buy or buy calls or puts. When volatility is high, they generally sell calls or puts because then volatility is also favoring you. Right now the volatility, it's much more than pre-pandemic, but in terms of pandemic levels, it is quite low. So either if you want to benefit based on your direction, you think market goes up, market goes down, you should probably look into buying calls or puts, but do not buy calls and puts when volatility is high because when VIX changes, even though you make money on Delta, you may lose money on because of Vega. Okay. So this is extremely important. Options are not only driven by prices. They are also driven by volatility and time. Options are generally for short term purposes. Like if you're speculating on it, do not stay long in the position because each day that passes, you're going to lose premiums. So get in, make some money, go out. So that's it from my end. So I'm going to stop this recording and take questions.